What's up, everybody, and welcome back to CrankBabies.xgg, where today I'm going to be bringing you another video on Riders Republic, and today's video is going to be showing you the free-for-all event, and of course, that is X Games. Now, I've been waiting for about a week for this, and it hasn't disappointed because I'm getting to now do a trick battle, I guess, with online players, which is kind of awesome, but... It is literally just the X Games, and it is round one of the X Games event. They have taken everything out for this week, and you can only do that, which is a massive disappointment for me. I think they should have incorporated that to the free-for-all events, but not got rid of everything else. I mean, doing the same thing for a week is going to be pretty boring. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Now, I know it says win every time in the title. Winning every time is going to come down to you, but I am going to show you the line. I mean, it's up to you to get the perfect landings and everything, but I am going to show you the line and give you the walkthrough on how to pretty much do the best line you can do in the X Games round one. And let's just go over here. Uh, if you didn't know, this is where you spawn in, just in case you're new to the game. You spawn in there, and of course, to get to free-for-all is basically over here. And you just get inside this yellow box, click the A for free-for-all or whatever controller you're using. Click the button to go into free-for-all, and I'll catch you guys in there. Okay, so we're on the gear select screen. I am going to be using these 900s. You don't have to. I've been doing the same line since I had these 623s. But I am going to be picking my 900s since I have them. Now, I'm going to break down the first four obstacles for you. The first one, we're going to be doing a single misty in, double misty out. Second one is the same. It's single to double. The next one after that, the third is going to be a double to double. And then the fourth is just a double misty. Now... Play around with this. I'm not great with skis. I generally do this on a snowboard, but the rotation for some reason in the free-for-all is not the same for the snowboard, and I don't know why. I can't seem to hit these doubles, and I wasn't hitting the quads at the end, which I'll go through when we get there. But this is the single in, double out, and we're going down the middle all the way here, and we're going to go single in again, double out, hopefully. Well, this is a perfect opportunity to show that this does still have backtrack. I wish they didn't have backtrack in this, but we're going to single in. And we're going to double out. Now, this one's the double-double. And, of course, this last jump is just a double misty. It doesn't really matter. We might hit that. We might not. Now, these are... This is going to be a quad. Misty. And hopefully we land that perfect. We did not land it perfect, but it was still pretty good. This is a triple. So these last three jumps is quad, triple, quad. And I'm going to hit this one with a, another quad finish. Hopefully. Now, if you have any tricks left at the end here, use them absolutely use them everybody else is going to it is a competition and hopefully we've got first place here if it's not a first place it's definitely going to be a podium finish most people don't get anywhere near 200,000 now you can roughly look to getting anywhere near 180,000 I mean you could see second place doesn't even have 180,000 but somewhere near 180 generally gets you into the podium Anything 200,000 plus. Now, I know people can hit 214, 215,000. I know they can, and it comes from the first jump on the first obstacle. If you go fully to the right and you hit that one, you can do a double misty to a double misty out. Uh, it is extremely hard to do, though. So this is why I'm not showing you it. It's pointless. You can still get podium places going straight down the middle. You will have to work on your landings. We want perfect landings as much as you possibly can. As you can see, it didn't really matter this time for me. And I still got the first place. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. That's just the line that I do. I did this about 10 times last night. There wasn't very many times that I didn't come first. There is a couple, like I said, if you go far right on the very first obstacle, you can do a double misty to double misty out. It's extremely hard to land, and you will have to have very good gear to do that. If you don't have 
the best 900 skis or snowboard, I wouldn't even consider it. Just stay down the middle, and I'm going to take you through it again. It is a single in, double out for the first one. Second is single in, double out. Third is double, double. And, of course, the fourth one is just a double misty. And for the three jumps at the end, we're doing a quad misty, triple misty, quad misty. Now, if you want to know the tricks that I use for that, it is basically I hold... I have actually changed my button. So it's a double trick grab and then basically you hold right or left. You can do up or down as well. It, I'm pretty sure there's going to be one of those tricks that scores the most. On skis, I actually don't know what that is, but a snowboard, if you are lucky enough to use the snowboard in there and you can do this line on a snowboard, the snowboard is definitely doing the method air, which is basically grabbing with your left and holding your stick to the left and that'll give you a method air and you want to do of course the misties using method that for me always gives me the most points i'm not 100 percent sure on that but it does seem to be that way for me anyway guys if this helped you out consider subscribing to the channel and please give it a thumbs up that'll send it out to many more people and i'm crankbabies at xgg and i'll catch you guys next time